Thank you for yesterday. Oh, it meant a lot to have you praying with me. I'm still trying to get my head around it, but I felt connected. God's love is real, Maeve. As real as you and me, right here, right now. Ah, oh, sorry, I better take this. But your boy is waiting for you. I promise. Were you praying? Call it what you want. You hate religion? No. Maeve, it's me. I know you. I had a closed mind. You were suffering and grieving and vulnerable. She's taking advantage of you. She's given me hope. Call it God, call it spiritual, I don't know, but she's, she's helped me to connect and believe that while there is somewhere waiting for me. Maybe that's true, who am I to say? All I know is you cannot trust Rebecca. It's you I can't trust, Nick. Maeve. So please leave me alone. Please go. Go! You okay? Yeah, I will be. Goodbye, Nicole. Seeing her with Rebecca, so happy, and just knowing that I couldn't do that for her. Hey, you guys were good together until you weren't. I threw it all away. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. This is all Rebecca. Rebecca isn't responsible for us sleeping together. No, but she's in Maeve's head manipulating and controlling her. Rebecca needs to be stopped, and I think I've found a way to do it. Do you two have to have your secret little chats here at work? Issues with my rosters? Oh, no, not at all. You're a godsend, Madonna. However, I would like to see a better spread of experience moving forward. OK. So, for starters, I would like Nicole on night shifts exclusively. That doesn't really work for her childcare arrangements. Well, we can't really pander to everyone's needs, can we? I have enough senior nurses for nights already. Then swap someone out. Make the change. You're good. How do you feel about switching to nights? What? I can't do that. I know it's not convenient, but... But? Our CEO asked for the change. Hold that thought. Rebecca, you're putting me on night shifts. It was Madonna's idea. Like hell it was. If you have a problem, you can go through the proper channels. You're scared that I'll speak to Maeve. Maeve doesn't want anything to do with you. I'm surprised you didn't pick that up this morning. Does she know that you're keeping her from me? She does. I'll leave you to talk. You can't let her isolate you. She's not isolating me. I just have different friends now. Right, so now you're all good with, with the Christians. What's next? You get baptised. Would that be so crazy? I could do with a new start. What? Maeve, please don't do this. There are things that you don't know about Rebecca. I know everything I need to. Okay, so please leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. You don't know what she's really like. I'm not interested in your opinion, Nick. Please just hear me out. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's just a few minutes. I must admit, Drew, I'm surprised you made another appointment after our clash over Morgan Brabner. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I was pissed off about that, but I can separate personal and professional, if you can. And what can I help you with today? Is everything OK? <sighs> Not really. Would you like to talk about how you're feeling? Angry? Frustrated? Uh, misunderstood. And what brought these feelings about? Trust is important, right? It's the foundation of every relationship. It is. That's why I find it incredibly infuriating that my wife doesn't believe a word I say anymore. Harper's back, I understand. Yeah. And that's... complicated, I imagine. It's fight after fight. 
You haven't reconciled. Well, I thought we were getting there, but then she saw me talking to Nicole. You just can't stay away from her, can you? We work in the same building. It's not that easy. How long has this been going on for, Drew? Honestly. What? I've seen the way that you look at her. Well, maybe you have. Guys, this is really not the place. No, it's not. Harper seems to think it is. So you admitted she's a threat to your marriage? She's not. Not anymore. I was angry with Harper. I was lashing out. You're no longer attracted to Nicole? Physically, sure. Who wouldn't be? She's gorgeous. But it wasn't just sex, was it? You and Nicole began to rely on each other emotionally. There was something there from the very beginning. A spark, you know? But you only acted on it when you were both, in effect, single. Pretty much. What do you mean? We first hooked up last year, months ago. Before Harper left, while Nicole was still with Maeve? It was wrong, it was a mistake, but we couldn't stop ourselves. She takes it with her. You need so much run interference. No, I don't. No, you do. Oh. Shh. Hi, Rebecca. Sorry to disturb you. Do you have a minute? I'm busy making an appointment. Uh, there's a problem with a patient, a religious patient. What do you mean? Um, she's been upset by a staff member. Which staff member? I don't know, actually, but she only wants to speak to a woman. Well, Monique can handle it. Uh, Monique's disappeared. This is ridiculous. You're probably right. This really needs your sensitive touch. So how upset is she? Really upset, actually. Angry. Talking about going to the media. I just hope she hasn't left you. Spyware and the Bright Shine app. The app is...